again my friend so um this is part two in my cat theme soap from my custom order and i already mixed in my um additives in here just go ahead and give that a quick stir so the first one you guys already saw last week and i haven't even cut it yet so i can't even speak to how it looks <laughs> but i'm sure you'll get, you've got my reaction last week and got to see it so what we're gonna do for this one this is going to be black and white. She has a tuxedo cat. I feel like this is my brand new jar of activated charcoal. But who cares? I'm going to use it anyway. So we're going to be using some activated charcoal for the black. And I'm going to use my circular mold. Um, which I told you guys about. Which is from Custom Craft Tools. Um, this one is going to be scented in... Evelyn Rose. So, I want you guys to do me a favor. If you guys know any fragrance company that sells Crabtree and Evelyn uh, fragrance little dudes, please let me know because man, I love everything they have. If I can get my hands on every single dupe that they have, I'm totally doing it. So right now I have two. And this is my second time using the Evelyn Rose. Um, I had to buy it again because it was just that amazing. That was the one soap that was the gold, uh, like intricate designs on the sides uh so yeah now we're going to go ahead and get our stick blender mm -hmm. so i think i'm just gonna do like a in the pot swirl on this one as well and pour it into my mold i don't i think i'm gonna i don't know yeah i don't know how i'm gonna do this as far as a pour i think i know but we'll see we'll work on that together so let me grab my line Pour that in there. Get that all mixed in. So for those of you who do not know, um, I announced it already, but I do have a candle company now called Paper Moon Chandlery. And um, why is it called Paper Moon instead of Royal Appleberry? Because I wanted my candle and my soap company to be separate. And I have always, always, always had a love for the moon. Um, <laughs> I am so fascinated by the moon. I think it is just fantastic. And a lot of times when we get that big glorious moon that's hanging very low in the sky, it looks like a paper moon to me. And I've been fascinated with the moon ever since I was a child. So that is why it is called Paper Moon Chandlery. And um, some of you probably already saw, if you've been over to my store, you saw some of my candles listed over there. They're not just your everyday, you know, pretty candle. You guys, if you know my sense of humor, then you'll understand my can, my candles. So if you <laughs> haven't been over to my store, just go check it out. I do love them. Um, I made 70 and I took them to my craft fair last year and I brought back 10. So they did really, really well. And I've gotten great uh, feedback from them, um, especially with me testing them oh my gosh I have to say <laughs> once I understood and did my research I understood how to make candles uh, and they were 100% soy once I was able to do that and got my formula down pat I have to say man oh man oh man um, that candle is just really packs a punch so anyway but yeah go check it out um, if you're into candles because I do make candles now okay so now I'm going to go ahead and pour off my black into this cup. like the same pour that I did on the other one if I can stop sloshing it in there because now I'm getting more black than any other color but um, her tuxedo cat is more black than white which is I think the standard tuxedo cat but um, I'm going to give that a little 
mix about and then we will pour this in the mold but I think I'm gonna try something different I think I might try to pour this into my mold on an angle I don't really think that's gonna work <laughs> just because of how my mold is made but we're gonna try it anyway all right so I'm gonna take my whisk and I guess I'm not going to yeah I'm gonna leave that long because we don't want to get gray okay so now let me grab my mold and I'm going to try to pour it in like this see how that works yeah it's starting to thicken up the white is anyway the black isn't doing anything I feel like I'm about to make a mess yeah let me oh yeah that is crazy how yeah, that's separating <laughs> so let me go ahead and give that a bit of a mixing I'm gonna smack that down good well I feel like this is gonna be more like um a galaxy type so not galaxy but more uh, it's kind of hard to explain what I mean I think I'm going to yeah I know I'm like all over the place I'm gonna pour this straight down I'm gonna have to move you guys out of frame a little bit because I feel like I got too much um black in there all right so there we go because I don't want this soap to be mostly black I probably could use a little bit less but then again it is a tuxedo cat so oh I am making a terrible mess <laughs> and then we're gonna call that done because there's nothing else I can do with that so I'm not going to insulate this I've always insulated I don't know why but I've always insulated the soaps in this mold because I don't insulate my soaps uh, normally but this time we're not going to um I'm just looking okay yeah this time we're not going to we're gonna leave it just like that and then maybe I won't get because I, I have a tendency of getting uh, steer acid spots when I insulate it I don't know why but I do so guys yeah, stay tuned because the cutting is coming up next and there's gonna be piping and all of that stuff to this so so you'll get to see that too okay see you over there bye hello guys welcome back to the cutting of this circular cat soap um, it's been sitting out of the mold for two days and you guys saw last week me um, cutting the other one so this is the top I'm going to cut the, oh, oh that smells so good <laughs> I'm going to cut the end off of this one because I am going to try my best to mold um, the end and make ears out of it so see I think about that much will do there we go Ooh, all these are gonna be so cute <laughs> I was I, okay, so I think this end is going to have the most white because this was the end of the bowl pour. And this is going to have the most black and white. But I think these are going to turn out stellar. Oh, and it smells so good. So amazing. It really, really does smell amazing. Now, I was concerned about this because I'm just like, that pour, I don't know um, if it got over mixed or if it's going to be more black than white. But I like the way this looks. I really do. Especially that side. So, um, I'm going to blaze through this cutting because the fun part will come uh, as far as me doing better cuts. <laughs> um, me doing the piping and all of that stuff for these kitty cats. Here is more to my liking because her cat is a tuxedo cat. So, which means, if you know what a tuxedo cat is, it's more white in the chest area and black on the outside. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to control your pour with a circular mold. You just pour and let it do what it's going to do. But I think this one's going to make a fantastic kitty. I'm going to make my ears I'm not gonna do them on camera just because it takes me a while I am no pro at making ears but you guys will see them and you will see me affix them to the kitty cat heads I don't know how I'm going to do it but I'm gonna figure it out so you guys can see that so stay tuned hey guys so welcome back to the 
I guess the face of the cats. <laughs> so um, I've already started as you can see. I'll show you one that I finished. I'm not sure if I'm going to put glitter or anything on it yet. But um, that's how it's looking. And I might do some more embellishments. I just have to make sure I have enough piping to do all that I want. But they are super duper cute. And I got one with a little tongue sticking out. I may do some like that. Um, these are super cute. And you know what? I forgot to ask her the gender of her cats. So... <laughs> Um, hopefully it's a girl, but if not, you know, I put pink on my boy, so it's not a big deal. I don't think they really care either way. But so what I've done is took, uh, the end pieces of the soap that I cut off and made some little ears. And I just use, um, a star cookie cutter and just use one of the little points. I roll these up by hand, flatten them, and then use one of the points. I didn't want to do all that on camera because I would have to change my setup and put it somewhere else and I can't stand up and do this. Just too much work. So, um, I stencil on the little faces with my little tool here. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but I kind of just sketched out a little face on there. So I have um, something to go by. And what I've been doing to fix the ears, and I know this is upside down for you guys, but this is the only way that I can do it. Um, basically, what I do is choose which side I want to do. I think I'll use this side here. I start upside down so the ears are going to go here and then I just take the uh, ear and kind of squeeze it with my finger kind of flatten the bottom end out that's going to fix to the cat head and then use a little bit it's kind of slippery use a little bit of my piping as a glue just that much there and then I just take it and put it on there and push it down so it's kind of like a clay in a sense so I'll do that again I know it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing especially with these gloves on but I just kind of pinch it between my fingers and flatten it like that and then I use the piping as a little bit of a glue like that and then I stick it on where I think it should go and then mash it out. Now if I have excess piping squash, squashing out, I don't mind it. I can just rub it off like that. And then um, that's all you do because the uh, little pipe flowers are going to go over the top of it anyway. So how I do my face, I turn it around facing me. And just kind of smooth out my little ear there. Okay. Because once you like a uh, ball you know make the the soap uh pliable it's like clay so it, you can kind of conform and then once the soap cures out it'll um harden up the rest of it okay so what i've been doing with this little tool is and i can't hold it up and show you guys i'm sorry you know doing the best that i can but this is basically what i do i just kind of start here with the nose and just kind of push down and then I drag down and make a little mouth and sometimes I do dig too deep I don't really have to dig that deep just because it's just really an outline and then kind of scrape off a little bit for a nose and then we'll do some whiskers this way whiskers that way two three two three that's basically all that I do and then I'll go back and clean up scrape off some of the excess that came out for me carving out my face okay now what I'm gonna do is you can put any kind of face you want on here this is just a little cat face that I like so what I'm gonna do now is kinda turn it back focus like center focus and then make my eyes which is there and there yeah, it's very hard for me to do it from standing up on this counter but that's okay I'll do a few and so basically now you have your face that's kind of how I do it just like that okay so now we're gonna go ahead and pipe on the flowers the nose and then the um, 
the mouth and eyes. So that's the order that I go in. Just gotta get a comfortable feel of this bag. Okay, there we go. All right, so just kind of one, two, three. One, two, three, four. It's getting a little bit thicker now. It was very runny at first. So it's kind of hard to do. So my little nose is kind of pull up, but I just take a little skewer and push them back down. So that's what I'll be doing there. Okay. And then I'll go through them, do them all once. Uh, once I am, I'm done. I think yeah I don't have a tripod that I can put where you guys will be able to see hmm can I do it you know I'm gonna try to take it off the track all right so I'm gonna try to hold this and do it hopefully I can do it right oh that's a big old nose <laughs> we're gonna wipe that off that cat has a humongous nose okay and hopefully I'm not shaking you guys all over the place because I'm not looking through the viewfinder so it would be kind of difficult for me to do but kind of give you guys a better idea of how I'm doing this okay so bring that one over and then a little nose some flower ears or flowers around his ears Okay, and then do the same for this one. See, that's really cute. I just wanted to be sure I had enough for everything. So I'm gonna freehand this one because I don't, I didn't draw a face on it yet. But I think I should be able to do it. so cute um so I think I'm gonna yeah <laughs> I'm gonna try to give it a go with um doing it holding the camera doing a face I'm not gonna do that one freehand because I'm just asking to muck that up so let me put you guys down for a sec just so I can get my piping bag in my hand where it feels good all right, so I think this is probably not going to go well, but we're going to try it anyway. So I'm just really concentrating. That's why I'm not really saying anything. So I'm trying to face this way a little bit. And then... Turn them upside down. This is pretty hard to do. And this all really just boils down to laziness. I got a tripod somewhere. I just don't know where it's at. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can still see what I'm doing. Alrighty. Then we'll do a mouth. I'm gonna clean off my tip. I know this camera is very shaky. Sorry about that. I'm gonna you guys back on a tripod in a second all right so there you have it that's my little kitty cat face so cute so like I said I'm thinking about putting glitter on here I'm not sure I don't even know if I said that or not but anywho so I'm gonna get you guys back on the tripod I'm gonna finish these up and then um I guess we'll be done I don't even know how I touched that. I didn't even realize that I touched that. Oh, that's terrible. I think my bag touched it. Because <laughs> I did end up with some piping on my bag. So, I think this one's just going to be a little bit higher. 
see if I can make that look nicer. And I have an idea to put some little candy beads. I think I will on this one just because I mocked it up. So let's bring those little noses down. And go plop a little tongue on this one. All right, I had to change memory cards. So now we're going to do that one. Hopefully this is a good angle for you guys to see what I'm doing. Hopefully my arm is not in the way. It would probably be better a top down view, but I'm trying to hurry up and get this done before things start to thicken up too much, you know what I mean? Okay, a little whisker there. So I'm going to finish this one up, do the rest off camera because it is very difficult for me to stand here and do this. But I just wanted to give you guys an idea or just an example of how I did these. Yeah, because these are, my black is thickening up and it's not as fluid moving as it was. Yeah, that one looks terrible. So I'm going to wipe that little mustache off that cat and redo that one. All right, guys. So I'm going to bring you guys back once I am, um done doing these all right guys um so i've done everything that i'm going to do as far as faces and my mom bought me a bunch of sprinkles um different type of sprinkles for christmas uh she bought me like nine of these and they're all different kinds so what i'm going to do is give the little kitties a heart nose because whoops I was looking at my lily bird and her nose kind of looks like a little heart so we're going to do that I'll just put it just like that and I don't know I want to do something else I just haven't decided what that is yet so oops that over here so I don't knock it over because I'm pretty sure that's next okay there we go those are just way too cute I, I really do like that okay I'm trying to put these on here without dropping them I don't know how much you guys can see. I'm trying to stay in frame. <laughs> Those are adorbs. They really are. But I just feel like they need a whole lot more. You guys know me. I'm <laughs> kind of extra. <laughs> so, um, we're going to jazz these up some more. They're going to get some glitter. I decided they need some glitter. your everyday sprinkle oh I thought I had something else tweezers didn't I so they're harmless don't worry about you know them being harmful if they're edible you can eat them they're fine they're gonna melt anyway so now what do we want to do up here I haven't decided yet let me get a little I just okay there we go how about say I know I had some stuff now I don't so I think I'm gonna pop a little bit of glitter around the ear the flowers on the ears and if I decide to put some sugar beads or something on them then I will that's so cute I love it 
looking at these little kitty faces. They are really cute. <laughs> All right. Oops, I missed the kitty. Okay. Now, I'll bring you guys back when I figure out what else I want to do for the tops. Okay, look, I am done with these little cuties, and they have stars and their little flowers and some little candy bits and some glitter so Nicole's all I really do hope that you like your kitty cats I think they are absolutely adorable and thank you again for choosing me to make them for you oh they are just darling they really are darling um, yeah so if you guys want a custom order just contact me through email leave it in the comment section um, or go through my big cartel shop and I can do that for you. I really do think these are absolutely adorable. Ah! So cute. Alright guys. So that's it. Love, hugs, and kisses. Be awesome and amazing in everything you do. Um, be sure to thumbs up for these kitties. And all my hard work. It is greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel. And you would like to get notified whenever I post new videos. Please be sure to hit the notification bell. Otherwise you will not get notified of when I post new videos. So be sure to do that. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Become a part of our sack. Which is our stinking awesome crew. So that is it. Until next week. I'll see you guys over there. Bye.